Hello and thanks for joining me again. Um, on this particular video we're going to make um, two different types of bonnets. The reversible one and then I'm going to make like a make one that can be considered like a um, a scrub cap, something that somebody, you know, if they work at the hospital or something that they can wear um, for Black History Month. Um, the, the regular fabric that I actually went looking for, they didn't have it, but I did see this here. They had a little bit of this here left, and I thought it was sort of cute. might be something that she would like as well for my daughters. And it's actually cotton. I'm saying, so of course, yours is going to be a little heavier on your head, and especially you're talking about reversible. That means another liner of fabric. Or if you wear it as a scrub cap, then of course, you won't, you won't need that double side. But these here are also good. A lot of times people go out and they like to wear them. They actually feel pretty good with the cold air. It's like wearing a cap, I guess. Um, regardless of how people look at it, that's how I, I think it's something good to wear out against that cold air hitting up against your head. Or like some of us that have health issues and stuff, we need something to sometime put on our head because we're not able to do our hair. But anyway, enough of that. Here's the fabric. and. I actually learned from a YouTube video. This is not something I knew how to do, so I learned from watching. I, I learned a couple of different ways. So on the particular one I've been doing, my measurement is she, on the video, of course, she said to measure 20 by 20. And that's what we're going to do. So that means... 20 inches long and 20 inches wide and I don't see I don't see my um, erasable pencil in here so I'm just going to take a pen and stick it there and this here is actually just showing me it's um, where I need to stop at so I'm going to see if I have enough like I said this is all they had to actually make four instead of just oh yeah right I'll be able to use the same measurement and we'll fold it in half and use that same pin and that measurement should still be 20 by 20. Let me just measure to make sure. Yep, take it down a little bit more. Just right here. But of course, we're going to trim some of that off anyway. So, um, okay, now we got 20 inches long. And now we're gonna, I'm gonna go ahead on and cut it and then I'll do the adjusting um, once I go ahead and get my pencil. So I'm just gonna cut it, cut across of course. And like I said, we got a double fold. So that means we'll have enough. And I'll even be able to do a little something with this piece here. So I try to use everything, I'm gonna be honest with you. So we have those four pieces. I'll go ahead on. Oh my good scissors. Go ahead on and clip this in half. And uh, all right, so there we go. And it really doesn't matter whether they turn up or down, but I put them all going in the same direction so that when I'm about to fold them to do the next measurement, you'll be able to see it. So uh, I'm going to go get my pencil, but in the meantime, what we're going to need is, if we're doing the reversible, of course, we're going to need like a, I've been using like a silk or satin fabric, something that go um, good with not damaging your hair or something soft or whatever, if you want to wear it on the opposite side and sleep in it. Um, you're going to need some elastic, and myself personally, I actually like using this little small elastic. You can choose the side that you want to use. Because some stretch more than others, so it just a matter of what size you want it to be. And I love this little tiny size. I can't tell you the size of it because I don't think I have the little box, but I did get it from Walmart. Um, of course, you can get it from anywhere, but we're going to need this here. And I got um, not only my measuring tape, but I got my... Another yardstick, I came prepared, I came with everything. So, 
manufacturer sells us scissors as well as some pins and of course like I said that um, erasable marker um, that you can use and I'm gonna go and find mine I want to show you something else too when I want I, when I be on the videos such as you using the cotton fabric a lot of times I see they want you to take a iron and fold this or fold that so that it'll make it easier for you to sew and of course if you a beginner or if it's just hard for you to do instead of getting a big iron that you use at home um, I just went out and got this here small iron and it's, it's considered a travel iron so I got it it's super small and I got it at Walmart but of course you know you can always look on Amazon and I buy most of my things on Amazon because like I said before I suffer from social anxiety and some days it's just hard for me to go out but anyway, we'll stop here, and um, we'll Hello? go to the next level in a minute. Thank you.